Welcome back to Problem Solver Politics. I am your host, Cardinalis, with Cody the Oracle. Hey, everybody. And today we're asking a big question. Is there going to be a second Trump stimulus check? Okay. All of us are aware of the checks that went out last month. Uh, famously, they had Trump's name on them. They were actually just indeed a stimulus check, not a UBI check. But they were extremely popular, gave a lot of relief to a couple of, uh, not a couple, but, you know, uh, many people that weren't able to make ends meet uh, during coronavirus. And the big question is, during these extended lockdowns, where we're getting announcements that, for example, California won't be out until July or August or in some oh, cases, Los September. Uh, yeah, Los Angeles. Sorry. Um People are asking, is there going to be another Trump stimulus check? So we're going to dive into the details and see what Congress is up to right now and indeed try and answer that question, will there or will there not be another check in the mail or if you filed your taxes electronically direct deposited? Cody, tell us what is going on. Um, well, yeah, I guess right now the biggest thing going on is that there's a bit of an issue going on and well... What do you know? Some going, there's some political stonewalling going on. Yeah. So we'll get this one article. So Democrats have included two deeply polarizing proposals and a three trillion dollar stimulus proposal. Sorry, I'll yeah. This proposal twice he does. Um, so packed inside the three trillion dollar coronavirus stimulus bill, House Democrats unveiled Tuesday are two provisions certain to come under fire from Republicans: state and local aid and a rollback of key provisions of the 2017 Republican-led tax bill, setting up a partisan battle that could leave millions of American citizens and businesses in the lurch in the coming weeks. They have some key facts, so we'll run through. So first, House Democrats plan to vote, hold a vote Friday on the 1,800-page bill, Jeez. and uh, which includes more than half a trillion in aid for state and local governments and reinstates the so-called salt itemized deduction for 2020 and 2021. Okay, I got one thing to say. That is only 200 pages short of the infamous Obamacare bill that was 2,000 pages that was passed. Like, nobody can read it. I I, I agree with this, the congressman, if you ever watched that um, YouTube series called The Swamp, okay, where they interviewed three congressmen that tried to change Congress by simply passing a law saying we won't pass bills that don't give us at least two minutes per page of reading time. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And then the salt itemized deductions, you want me to explain that? I mean, I, 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 if I'm being honest, this is, as far as I understand the situation, none of this matters, dude. What's currently yeah. going on is that the Republican-led Senate is telling the Democrat-led House that we have not spent all the money that we have already put aside to spend. And yeah. until we've spent all that money, we don't think it's worthwhile spending any more approving anymore. It's like we're approving money we can't spend. That's the case as best finders are from the Senate. Now, this means the House gets to write a bill and they get to fill the bill with a bunch of stuff that will never get passed because guess what? The Senate told them we're not passing it. So yeah. we can argue about salt caps and all this stuff. It's just nonsense. The Senate said we're not passing it. So the House said fine, we're going to put this stuff in it. Now, cool. You think, so that do you think they all, purposely killed the bill? They don't kill the bill on purpose. This is what happens all the time. You ha you have to work together. One side says I will not work with you. So the other side says fine. See, we're, I think I think we're just gonna put a bill out there anyway, and we're gonna say this is what they won't pass. That, you you put stuff in it you want. You put stuff in it you want to see happen. So you can say I championed for the cause, but then no. These so you can say this is what they won't let us do. Well, I know exactly. So yeah, So if but, you're on the side that wants it, you can say oh they wouldn't pass it. We're the opposite side. Yeah. I, I think the salt cap is important though, and I think that might be the thing that kills it because previously people like me could write off of federal taxes what some of our local taxes were. Hold on, what, what are we arguing cap. about again? The uh, where are the you coronavirus the stimulus bill. Yeah. Not not how much I have, the, not the salt tax. How dare they roll back big Trump's 2017 tax? Why are we talking about any of this? This is a coronavirus stimulus bill, mm -hmm. and we want to know, is there more money going to families so they could, you know, feed themselves? Sorry, so, we got to bicker about tax codes from three years ago instead because this bill isn't getting passed no matter what's in it. So you because think, the Senate said, why haven't we spent the money yet? Whether that's reasonable or not, don't know. I haven't looked all the way under it or not. All I'm saying is this happens all the time in politics. One side says, we are not going to work with you. Uh -huh. So the other side just moves forward anyway, and it's a big waste of time. Eight, 1,800 pages that do not matter. Think about that. 1,800 pages that just don't matter. What were some of how the many other bills stuff that there, was in there? How many bills? Oh, all kinds of stuff. But how many bills did the House pass before the first one actually got passed by the Senate and signed by Trump? Oh, goodness gracious. Like five or six. Yeah, it was on its like fifth or yes, sixth because iteration. They, do, you, yeah. do you think when they, do you think when these bills go to vote, like when it finally gets the voting part, 
you think the people involved know if they're going to pass or not? You think when they're drafting this, the people drafting it know if it's going to pass or not? Like, come on, I, I, I like, I'm they, not they talk. so cynical, Cody. I like to cynical. think that these... <laughs> it just, they, 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 they're human beings. They talk. They can say, you know what? If you give us a they bill... They are honorable men fighting for their representative constituency. What, what, what is... <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, dude, if you're in the House of Congress, they really don't. Or they don't. Really, they really don't go to each other. And say, hey, look, if you put forward a bill that has stuff like this in it, we'll definitely yeah. approve that one. And they go back and write those bills saying, "Good, that's what we want." Or like the opposite, of like, "Fine, you kind of got us here. We'll have to concede." Like, like, like they know when you're writing these. I think people people may think I think the word cannabis appears like seventy or eighty times in this. Yeah. And it's like, well, yeah, because they were just stuffing stuff in. It doesn't matter. They were told face from the start, we will not pass this. So does it like arguing about what's in a bill that will never get passed? It just it seems to me like what a what an exercise in futility, man. We're arguing about a bill. The people at the in charge of the bill know like these bills are written to never get passed. They're yeah. written. I mean, again, we're talking about coronavirus stimulus, and you're like, yeah, but what about the salt cap tax rollbacks? Like, wait, is there really no better time to have this argument? No, but but hold on a second. Th to me, that is part of the argument, just because that could be part of the stimulus tax relief for families that are under financial pressure could be. A, when a would way you get that? Doing... When would you get that relief? When would you get relief from a change to a 2017 tax code? When would you see yes. the relief in your bank account? It's it's a weak form of relief because no, 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 it no, is no. prolonged. When would you see that your relief next tax in your returns. bank account? Okay, cool. Yeah. When the, hopefully when this is over. So it really doesn't matter then. No, no, it's, like, no. it's a moot point. It has nothing uh, okay, to do with what look, we're talking about. Hold on about. a second. I, I have respect for the spoken word, so I'm not going to say that it does not matter. But I will definitely say it does not provide the immediate relief that people are oh looking for. Oh, my God. It doesn't mean... Let me, nobody wants to hear good news next year your return yes. will be better I agree if I you agree. own a house worth more than 500 yeah I got a great idea let's only help people that own a house worth more than $500,000 next year yeah that's a brilliant plan no it's stupid it obviously is but here we go Forbes is going to write up a whole article about it Nancy Pelosi Chuck Schumer uh, Mitch McConnell I always forget his name but there's a Republican House Minority Leader I, I mean, guess Kevin McCarthy never does from anything yeah. right these guys, these people, are, these men and women, they're going to go in front of cameras, they're going to pound tables, they're going to talk about all this blowing, it doesn't matter. For a bill, it's not going to pass. Well, people are sitting at home. Dude, I got my stimulus, my stimulus relief through direct deposit, and I spent it on bills, necessary things I had to spend it on. Okay. And this was like two weeks ago? The other day, I come home, I get a letter from the IRS. I'm like, God, yikes, got a letter from the IRS. It's like, good news, we just, your, your stimulus check was approved and sent. It's like, dude, it's gone already. What do you mean, good news? Yeah. Thanks. I guess that was great. I, now it's gone. Now I have nothing. And in, 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 you tell does this letter tell me about my next one? No. But I got good news. Nancy Pelosi is going to fight with the Senate over mm -hmm. reducing uh, income tax. So next, not income tax, but reducing what tax rates on homes over a certain value. So next year in your returns, you'll see something. Yeah. Does this matter to anyone? No. But we're going to argue about it. We're going to talk about it. Why? Seriously, why? What does any of this have to do with another coronavirus stimulus check? What not much. Any, not much? How about nothing, dude? There's nothing to do with stimulus at all. Nancy Pelosi proposed, I think it's what, up to $6,000 per family in this? What well, is Nancy Pelosi, you know, the House Representatives, which is led by the House Majority Leader Nancy Pelosi, but $6,000 in stimulus payments. I mean, which that's pretty... Sounds good. Until remember, guys, this is a bill that will never pass. Until it doesn't pass. Yeah, she gets to look it's like a bill that she's will never a, pass. She gets to look like a hero and say, "Oh, well, I wanted six thousand dollars for fam per family of uh, coronavirus relief, but they said no instead of saying, yeah, I stuffed the bill yeah. full of all kinds and of weird crap.' Before so we get to the died. next, before we get to the next part of it, which they mentioned in this article, which uh -huh. is from CNN, they write that Americans may not see this new. More generous payments, however. Senate Republican leaders have already said the new bill's dead on arrival, arguing that another round of emergency yeah. funding is not yet needed as states begin to reopen, which is the next fold. While Los Angeles extended lockdown orders for another three months, everywhere isn't. Places are lifting them. So it's yeah. kind of weird. The federal government is... In, Right or wrong, there will be a wing of the government arguing we're reopening states. Why do we have to pass an even more ambitious relief bill now? To the point where the Senate said, look, it's not passing. Again, I want to read this to you guys. This is in this third paragraph of this article where they say, Senate Republican leaders have already said the new bill's dead in arrival. Now, let's see how long we go on arguing. Oh, actually, this is a good one. It's a short one I've seen. But there's pieces going on. Look at this going on. on, 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 on. Oh, another short one. Thank God. Sorry. I don't have the, I actually closed the longer ones because I remember reading these articles going like, okay, but who cares? Like, like yeah. 
it, it's all like people have said this will never go anywhere. It will never pass. We're not getting anything. But I don't know. Let's get Mitch and Nancy up there to argue some more about tax credits. Like, dude, what? <laughs> what Mitch is and this? Nancy. That actually sounds like an old married couple from the fifties. Oh, we're gonna get Mitch and Nancy up they there. They might as well know? be. What else do they do for <laughs> yeah. anyone, right? So, they're just a dysfunctional family that needs to go to therapy. So, anyway, let us know what you guys think below. Um, I, I personally, I don't think it's coming because I don't see Congress being able to functionally do their job well enough to provide any kind of immediate relief. And I still maintain that UBI is better. This is just ultimate proof that UBI is better. And there, there's part of me that's happy it didn't get passed only because $3 trillion is a massive amount of debt. I remember when Bush and his national debt passed $1 trillion, how we were screaming from well, the wait, rooftop, one second, rooftops. Though. It's important to keep in mind, just because like this bill as written so that's not to say the government's not going to approve another three trillion a week from now. It's just as written, the bill that's most recently proposed is dead in arrival. It's going nowhere. Yeah. But dude, are you kidding me? Republicans, nothing Republican governments like doing more than passing the largest spending bills in the history of the United States. I think they're like three times in a row now. I love yeah. it, dude. Republican yeah. gets in office. First thing, how can I spend more money than any American president has ever ever uh, assigned to spend at any period of time ever? How do I do that? Yeah. Think about it. Trump might be in for like seven billion when this is all said and done. Trillion. Sorry, seven yeah. trillion. Think about that. Seven yes, trillion. Brutal. Seven trillion wave with a pen in about five months when it's all said and done. Like we're literally we're looking like the graph of the Weimar Republic. You know what I'm saying? Where the value of their money and the hyperinflation just like spiked yeah. over a seven hey, year period. I'm telling you, I mean, nothing Republican voters love more than seeing the deficit go up, man. Because that was the only dude. people they elect. Yeah. If you're not gonna if you're not gonna vow to, to assign more funds to be designated to just things than anyone else of all time? Are you even a president, man? Yeah, it, it's brutal. So uh, let, let's continue the conversation below. We want to hear what you guys have to say, and we're going to try and respond to as many as we can. Follow us on Twitter at PSP Radio 1. I personally don't think a Trump check is coming, um, and it's all the more reason why we still have to con con continue pursuing universal basic income because if not, they're just going to crash the monetary system. That that, that That's just... That's just the way I look at it. Through debt, they're going to crash it. So anyway, let us know what you think below. This is Problem Solver Politics. We'll see you guys in the next video.